Hello there and welcome back to Gumboots Australia. This is the fourth uh, investigation I have to do called Latvian Relations and the briefing text reads, your boss, the founding director of the Gumboots Inquiry Agency has asked you to help him entertain his Latvian relatives who are visiting Australia for the very first time. They want to do five things. Go down into a gold mine, feed dolphins in the wild, go fishing for marlin, climb Ayers Rock and ride on a city tram. The Latvians only plan to stay in Australia for another 10 days, so your deadline will be May 30. You get a $500 advance to cover expenses and your boss will pay you a further $600 later. And it says the hint is to use the database. Okay. So it's May 11 now. The uh, deadline is May 30. So I've got more than 10 days. I've got 19 days. So time shouldn't be an issue to find five places. The trick though is to find those places. Uh, I'm just going to do some quick note taking because they don't tell you where these places are. They say what they want to do, uh, but not where to actually do these things. I'm going to search the database. I'm just going to make some quick notes. I've got to go to a gold mine. I've got to do dolphins in the wild. Uh, I've got to do some marlin fishing. Airs Rock. Well, I know Airs Rock is in Uluru, so I don't need to search for that one. And a tram. I know city trams are in Melbourne, because uh, Melbourne, being my hometown, is famous for its city trams. So there's two such as I don't need to worry about. Uh, the other three, though, not as certain. So let's search the database. This is search for gold for that gold mine. Uh, that's the Gold Coast, so it's not useful. Search again. Uh, golden perch. It's not relevant here. It's about fish. Let's keep searching. The Gold Coast. No. Keep searching. Aha! We go Kalgoorlie. Uh, in the heart of the Western Australia's richest gold mining area. Okay. So I'm thinking that is the place to go for the gold mine. So I'll stop that search. Let's do a new search. Now let's find out where these wild dolphins are going to be. If I can type properly. Uh, dolphins. There you go. Dolphins can often be seen near the beach at Monkey Mia. Okay. I'll we'll just keep searching. The Gold Coast. No. There we go. Monkey Mia. Home of scores of friendly dolphins which regularly swim into the shallows to mingle with people near the beach. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go to Monkey Mia to feed the wild dolphins. Uh, I'll stop that search and let's do one more search. Let's find out where to do this marlin fishing. So let's search for marlin. And here we go, Southmore Island. Uh, marlin fishing is worth seeing in the area, so that's. Uh, and so that's going to note that one down in my notebook. Okay. Let's stop that search. Let's have a look. So where am I now? I'm at Hobart. So I'm right in the south. Uh, so I'm down here in Hobart, capital of Tasmania. I've got to get to Melbourne, which is just over the, the strait. So that's pretty uh, easy. Got to get to Kalgoorlie, which is over here in the west. Monkey Mia is also over in the west. Okay. Uh, Uluru, right in the centre. And then Southmore Island, which is a bit further away. So, how about I go Hobart to Melbourne, to Southmore, to Uluru, to Kalgoorlie, and then Monkey Mia. And there's my five spots, and it should do that in less than 19 days. I can't see why that would be an issue. So, let's go to a new place. Let's go to Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne, the capital city of Victoria on the Yarra River, known as the home of Australian rules football, which attracts the largest crowds in Australian sport. I'm not sure how you really get a bus from Hobart to Melbourne, since it is a separate landmass. I'm going to do that anyway. I believe really I've got plenty of time. I think I've just saved the money. Okay, so we're in Melbourne. Let's do some investigating. Let's go for a tram ride. 
The electric trams really interest these Latvian people. They insist on riding the trams for another three hours. This costs you $30 in tram fares. Okay. There's one down. Uh, the next stop is going to be South Mole Island. So let's go to a new place. This could be a long trip. Southmore Island, a holiday resort situated in the heart of the Whitsunday Passage, 8 kilometers from Chute Harbour. It's a 37 hour trip by bus, but it's much cheaper. Let's do that. I mean, no rush. Save the money. And it's night time, so I've timed that pretty well. Yeah, what was I doing here again? That's right, marlin fishing. So let's investigate, and let's go fishing for marlin. You charter a boat in Chute Harbour and head out towards the Great Barrier Reef. Two hours later, you have passed the reef, and the Latvians are trolling for marlin. They fish all day, and even through, even though they catch nothing, they are tired but happy when you return to Southmore Island that evening. Oh, that's a whole day taken up with that. That's right. Oh. We have an event. Watch out, something's going to happen. Uh, a bar of chocolate is lying on the ground. It seems untouched. What will you do? I'm not going to open it either. That's just weird. Let's just put it in the bin. Okay. I wonder what would have happened though. Interesting. Okay, next stop will be Uluru. Right in the middle. Three spots to go, so we've got 15 days. So let's go to a new place. Let's go to Uluru. Uluru, the largest monolith in the world. This magnificent rock has special significance for the local Aboriginal people, known for its spectacular colour changes during the day. Let's take the bus there, 39 hours, but much cheaper. It is a long trip. We've made it, it's nightfall. Okay there. Oh, another event. Watch out. Something is going to happen. You hear a special news bulletin on the radio warning citizens not to open any suspicious bars of chocolate, as an insane person has been disguising miniature bombs as bars of chocolate. Wow. Lucky you didn't open that bar of chocolate. Gee, that's, um, that's a bit dramatic, isn't it? I'm glad I didn't open that chocolate. Alright, so I'm at Uluru. Let's investigate. Let's climb the rock. Although... You can't actually climb Ayers Rock anymore. Uh, it is now forbidden to do so, and that's only been a recent change, but this is 1990, so it's climb the rock. The older Latvians find it tough going, but in the end, they all get to the top and back safely. They all insist that you buy them one of those I climbed Ayers Rock t-shirts too. These cost $48, wow. That's 48 bucks back in 1990. That's an expensive t-shirt. Uh, that's all right though, so that's Three places found, two to go. Let's go to a new place because the next one was in Kalgoorlie, which is further west. Let's head that way now. Kalgoorlie, in the heart of Western Australia's richest gold mining area. It has some fine examples of early Australian architecture, such as those in Haddon Street. I'll get the bus, it takes a day. Okay, and here we are, little country town. Let us investigate and we'll go down Boulder Block Road Mine. Here your boss's relatives get a good look at the way gold is mined. They ride in a car 60 meters down the shaft and inspect the underground tunnels. Oh, another event, watch out, something is going to happen. You remember that today is your mother's birthday, what will you do? Buy yourself a $20 present. Hmm. Let's ring her up. Let's ring up mum on her birthday. As you wish her happy birthday, it reminds her that she has forgotten to give you a present for your last birthday. And she sends you $120. Well, there we go. Thanks, mum. All right. One place to go. And that is going to be the wild dolphins in Monkey Mia. So let's go to a new place. Let's go to Monkey Mia. Uh, in the clear blue waters of Shark Bay, this is the home of scores of friendly dolphins, which regularly swim into the shallows to mingle with people near the beach. Let's just keep going with the bus. Okay, 
Okay, and we here, and there's the dolphins. So let us investigate. It's only six in the morning, but let's go feed the dolphins. The Latvian tourists are enchanted by the local dolphins, which come right up to the shore and allow themselves to be fed by hand. Okay, and there we go. Congratulations, you have found all the right places to do the things Latvians wanted you to do. Wanted to do, sorry. Your boss decides to pay you $800 since his relations had such a great time with you. You receive your final payment of $800 for completing the task, plus your $100 for each bonus point you have left. This adds $1,800 to your bankroll. Okay, you finish this game, you now go on to the next game. So that is the fourth uh, investigation or inquiry or game or mission done. I've got just over six grand in the bank, so I'm making good money. So that means if I do need to catch the plane or get around quickly, I might have to worry about cash. Uh, so that's that one done. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. And I hope to see you next time for Gumboots Australia.